morning. It's Thursday, May 21st. And I want to talk a little bit this morning about a disgrace that this country is perpetrating on all these people who are waiting for their unemployment checks. We got 36 million people out there who have been furloughed or laid off or promised something else. But anyhow, they're all staying at home because of the virus, although the country's going to open up soon. And we have over 10 million of these people who are still waiting over five weeks to get a check. So that means that uh, one in five people who are on these unemployment rolls have not been serviced properly. Now, I can understand that with the antiquated systems that have been running at all of the state unemployment offices, that problems have arisen. But it's been six or seven weeks since this whole episode started, and nothing seems to have been accomplished. And I recognize the fact that computer systems, uh, they change very often, and then you have to uh, you have to work hard to keep up. And it costs money to keep up. So I'm sure that when they look at these state budgets and they look at the fact that they need a new computer system for the unemployment office or something, well, that gets put on the back burner till next year and then till the year after and the year after that and the year after. So I understand all of the stuff about the computer systems. Not that I agree with any of that, but I understand it all. What I don't understand is the stories that you hear about people who called in for help and they were told, don't worry, we'll get back to you. And so they wait and nobody gets back to them. And quite often people don't answer the phone. And one person says, you know, they told me to call every Sunday at nine o'clock in the morning. And every Sunday at nine o'clock in the morning, I call and nobody answers the phone. And then I get a message call back on Monday, and I call back on Monday, and nobody answers the phone, right? So that that type of stuff is uh, inexcusable. With all the technology that exists in this world, one of the things that they could have done somehow when this thing first started was see if they could get people's email addresses in addition to phone numbers on whatever applications they have. At least if they had an email address, they could send out a blast. They could even notify you that the check is in the mail or something. They're so far behind what's happening in the real world. Now, it's true that they've paid out $48 billion, but they really should have paid out about $80 billion. And there are some men and women who work in particular type of industry that are just not going to get some money because they don't really qualify. And that's a shame. It's What's a shame is that they don't even know they don't qualify. So they're going through this whole exercise and they're not going to get anything or they've been denied. And then, of course, there was that major screw up where they put the wrong account numbers on checks and those people couldn't cash their checks. And then you've got people who don't even have checking accounts or bank accounts. And their refunds are going to places like H&R Block or some check cashing service. And that further delays the process because the people at the check cashing service and the people at H&R Block are not prepared to start handing out checks to millions of people. So this is a monumental black mark in a whole series of black marks against our government organizations. This has indicated uh, the total lack of planning. And I know there's a big rush, a big rush. We've got to get this money out. That's true. But maybe if you took another one week more to figure out what the hell to do, you wouldn't be in this mess. Or if you went out and you found some experts who had experience in dealing with this type of thing, maybe you wouldn't be in this problem. Okay, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, but it sure stinks. This whole thing stinks badly. But based on the experience that we're looking at right now, I can tell you that those people who take money out of their IRA accounts are going to be expected to pay taxes on that money. And then 
there's going to be a big fight because the IRS will not be prepared to handle this particular situation. Won't that be wonderful? I waited two months to get a check. I had to live off my IRA savings. And then I'm getting charged income tax because I had to take that money out when I wasn't supposed to. And knowing the way that law is written, it's probably going to be a penalty on top of it. You know, you know what this is. And I don't want to say, I don't use bad words. I try not to use bad words. But there's a monumental fuck up. And uh, it's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. So good luck to all these people who haven't gotten their checks yet. And I hope it gets straightened out soon. But soon is not soon enough. All right, have a great day. Bye.